Hey there everyone. So this is the third video of the new six stuff stuff for April. Right now we're going to be looking at some of that Google Jump test footage I shot a long time ago. And I've just had it restitched using Jump's new high quality stitching algorithm, which also should improve the depth map quality. So we're going to take a look at the old stuff and then I'll load the new one and we'll see how they compare. So this is shot five. This should look pretty familiar to everybody. Um, this is one of those videos that sort of been a go-to for just testing purposes. This is the Griffith Observatory. And again, this is the old stitching and old depth map. Let's go ahead and just look at just the depth map real quick. And we'll just look at it flat so we can kind of see. You can see there's like lots of kind of gray halo-y areas around all the people. It looks kind of cloudy. And here, sort of just a gray blob. And again, kind of cloudy. Okay, so here is the restitch video. Let's see how it compares. I'd say it looks pretty similar. Let's go ahead and look at just the depth map. You can see though, it, the depth map is a lot cleaner. You don't see any of that clouding. Everything looks really kind of nice and and crisp. Over there, not as cloudy, much better shape to everything. Let's zoom out and take a look. So now I'm loading up the original video again of the same shot and we can compare sort of one to one. having some playback issues because of the video capture, like usual. Now I'll load up the restitched video again. Well, for sure this telescope is a lot straighter, a lot more accurate. Yeah, it does look a lot better, actually. Okay, very cool. Very cool. This looks really good. Okay, so let's move on to one of the other videos now. Okay, so this was shot two. And you can see this is actually um, our sort of startup screen image. This is the original as it was. So I'll go ahead and move out a little bit. You can see there's some issues with the lamppost over here. And the people don't look great. A lot of um, incorrect depths where you see these spikes. That's just vertices in the wrong place, so. Okay, so let's compare with the new one. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. You can see we've still got a few vertices that are misplaced, but this lamppost is looking a lot better, a lot straighter, you know, and then look a lot more solid. And actually, we used to have a stitching error over here with a repeating pattern to the windows got messed up, so that looks a lot better too. That's not, and not even in the depth map, just in the picture. And um, the fence over here. Again, it seems to get the, hor the vertical columns, but the horizontal stuff, it kind of loses sometimes and it gets pushed into the background. I'm going to load up the original video for the shot one more time. You can see that, yeah, that um, lamp post looks really bad. So does that one. Um, what I really wanted to look at though was the depth map. You can see there's not really a lot going on in the depth map here, which is why some of the stuff looks pretty bad. Very cloudy over there. Not really a whole lot going on. So let's go ahead and load up the restitch video. Here's the restitch video. Starts a little earlier, so there I am walking away. Um, you can see, yeah, it's, you know, again, not a whole lot going on still, but the cloudiness has gone over here. 
You can see there's that error. Looks like maybe a lens flare or something. Um, a lot cleaner. So this is the original stitch of the last video. You can see here we are in front of the Griffith Observatory. I always thought this video actually looked pretty good, so um, I'm interested to see what's different. So you can see there's a lot of jagged edges. Um, but, you know, it looks pretty good. The sign is, is okay. Could be better. A lot of vertices that are sort of not in the right place. So we'll see if the high quality stitching improves that at all. I want to take a look at the depth map. So you can see, um, you know, they're a little cloudy. A little of that, you know, gray tones around the edges. Not sharp edges, just, you know, a little foggy. And not a lot of distinct um, features here or in this section, a little muddied, but pretty good. Uh, it's not bad. Okay, well, I'll load up the next video and we'll compare the depth map and then I'll go back and we can look at the color. Okay, so a lot crisper on the lines, you can tell. A lot sharper, it's not that cloud around it, just like the other videos. Pretty good. Again, the original was very good also, so this is certainly an improvement, but not quite as uh, stark as the other videos. Let's look at this normally now. Kind of come over here. So the sign is a little bit better, for sure. And the front wall here is a little bit better. Still a few vertices out of place, but um, pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at a point cloud. It's very nice. So the high quality stitching is certainly an improvement. I want to go back and look at some of the new videos again uh, in point cloud mode because I forgot to do that before. So we'll look at just the restitched versions. Very cool. I can even look through here and see the background. The telescope dome looks a lot better in this high quality stitch too. Okay, now we'll look at the final video. I mean, yeah, it looks good. Definitely an improvement. Not a whole lot of depth going on, but I mean, the subtle differences are very nice. A little warping there with the uh, walking, but everyone else looks pretty good. So just before the end of this video, I actually want to go back and directly compare the depth maps to each other, looking at the equirectangular footage with the standard quality stitches versus the high quality stitches. So here we've got the standard quality stitch for shot number two, and then here's the high quality. You can see there's a very big difference, though in the high quality there is that one artifact on the left side that doesn't exist in the standard quality, so that's interesting. I'm just going to freeze frame here and kind of A-B back and forth really quick so you can see the difference really easily. So here's the next shot. This is the one that's in front of the Griffith Observatory. This is the standard quality stitch. And here's the high quality stitch. You can see again, it's much clearer, much more well-defined, and the edges are much cleaner. And I'll just A-B back and forth really quick again. You can see the difference. And here's the last shot. This is the one with the kid next to the telescope. And again, it's like night and day. 
the standard quality stitch is much blurrier, much more cloudy, much grayer than the high quality stitch, which has much more defined lines and much more defined features. Okay, well that does it for this video. If you're into this kind of thing, make sure to subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye.